I think I'm the best qualified to win. I'm determined on running. And there you have it. After nearly two weeks of taking hits from Democrats questioning his candidacy, President Biden insists he's not going anywhere, even as more of his colleagues call for him to step aside. We need to bring someone who can unite us and, and move us forward. It, it's not President Biden. Hey, buddy. The president gave a rare solo press conference Thursday night, with a lot riding on his ability to answer unscripted questions from reporters. Look, I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be vice president, but I think she was not qualified to be president. That was one cringeworthy slip up, but overall, Mr. Biden held his own during the presser, which highlighted a sweet spot for him, foreign policy. If Donald Trump had been on that stage for an hour last night asking questions from reporters about foreign policy, could he possibly have delivered the answers our president did? We all know the answer's no. The latest polling shows Joe Biden and Donald Trump still locked in a very close race, but Trump's looming announcement of his pick for vice president could move the needle. I think uh, Donald Trump knows better than anybody how to uh, work a, a, a program and uh, build up the excitement. Uh, it's just going to be part of a great week that we have coming. North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum and Senators J.D. Vance, Marco Rubio and Tim Scott are all names on Trump's shortlist for VP. Whoever he chooses will give the keynote address next Wednesday at the Republican National Convention. In Washington, Rebecca Castor, Fox News.